Twitter has something called SSL pinning. It doesn't allow any like man in the middle attacks. It doesn't allow anyone to use a proxy in between the device and the web server that it's trying to talk to. But we can bypass that. Um, and we already did in our last stream by using Frida. But um, to do that, we had to install that server on the device itself, and we had to run that um, server as an executable. But if we were dealing with a non-rooted device, or if we had a app that maybe it didn't run on rooted devices, like for example, on um, banking applications, a lot of times, they have root detection enabled, so they won't run when you install them on a rooted device. So if we were in that situation, we would need to find a, another solution. Fortunately, there is a solution um, using Objection, which is another tool that is kind of similar to Frida, but we can use Objection um, to bypass SSL pinning without having to install anything on our device meaning that we do not have to have a rooted device to do it. Last time when we installed Frida, we had to install Objection as well. Objection was one of the prerequisites. So we already have Objection installed. So we have Objection, it's a runtime mobile exploration, and we're actually gonna use Objection to patch the APK ex itself. Basically what we're doing here is we're just removing that check from the binary of the application so it doesn't have SSL pinning anymore. Patch APK dash S and then our target application which is Twitter. So I'm pretty sure when I run this it's going to fail and there are going to be some errors and we're gonna have to work through those. But we're going to try it anyway and see what happens. Okay so we need APK signer. So I'm going to run sudo apt install apk signer. And that's probably going to be one of many errors that we get during this process and I'm just going to work through them as they as they get here. Unable to find zip align. So that's another prerequisite that we need. All these errors are just like, it needs some things installed. After we get all of the things installed that we need, they're probably going to be much worse errors. Try it again. Okay, now we're getting past the section where it's just asking for prerequisites it needs. So now it's actually trying to unpack the, um, the APK, and it's using APK tool for this. And I'm assuming APK tool is going to throw some errors. So it's rebuilding the APK with the Frida gadget loaded. Okay, that's the error that I was waiting on. <laughs> this massive wall of red, scary text. <laughs> that that's a bit terrifying. Rebuilding the APK may have failed. Read the following output determine if APK tool actually had an error. I'm not reading all that. There's a lot <laughs> of text. But there was an error with rebuilding the APK. And all of this red scary text got spit out when that happened. So, um, if we run APK tool dash dash version, we can try to investigate what is causing these errors. So I very quickly mentioned this way back when I was talking about decompiling APKs and doing like source code analysis and all that. Um, APK tool, for whatever reason, I, don't, I could not tell you why, in the standard um, package manager for Ubuntu and probably most other Linux um, distros, it's going to install this dash dirty version instead of the regular like main version of APK tool. I could not tell you why it does that, 
but um, the first time I was dealing with this, there it was a nightmare trying to figure out what was causing all these issues, and I was I went I dug deep going into like forums and GitHub like issue reports and things like that trying to figure out what was causing this, and I finally found like one little bitty comment from like a couple years earlier uh, from the developer that said dirty just meant that it was not like a main release version like it was not the one that was being presented as like the current release i don't know if it's like a weird fork that um that the ubuntu package manager decided to create i i could not tell you why but for whatever reason when you run apt install apk tool it gives you a dash dirty version instead of the real thing so um i'm going to purge apk tool so this is going to completely remove apk tool from my machine now if i run apk tool no such file or directory so now that apk tool from the package manager is no longer installed we need to go to the github page directly and we are going to right click save as apk tool save and then we're going to go here find the most recent recent version of um, the jar file which is apk tool 2.6.1 jar save um, and now we need to move both of those files to slash user slash local slash bin. And then the jar file. And now we need to make sure they're both executable. So chmod user, oh wait, chmod plus x slash user slash local slash bin slash apk tool and apk tool dot jar so both of those are executable now and now we should be able to run apk tool and now it works and if we run apk tool version it no longer gives us that dash dash dirty at the end of our version number that should fix our apk tool problem um i think there may be like one or two other errors that we still have to go through but um that will at least fix that massive wall of red scary error text that we had before this will take a little while um and hopefully we will not see that big massive wall of red error text anymore but it probably will throw i think just one more error and we'll have to get through that and then we'll be through it unpacked the apk it injected the library it needed to and now it is rebuilding the apk this is the spot where we got that big error last time so hopefully we will not see that this time there we go okay so it finished rebuilding so we got past where we hit that error last time and now it signed the apk now it's copying the apk hey it finished it didn't have any more errors cool i thought there was going to be one more but so now so this was the apk that we were patching and now we have this apk which 
has dot objection in the name. So that is our new one that has been patched by objection. I want to install our new version. So here we have our Twitter app. So it looks just like our old Twitter app. So it should just hang on that screen. I should be able to run objection explore. Hopefully this works. We shall see. There we go, okay. So the agent injected and responds okay. That's how you know that it actually was able to communicate. And now I should be able to run Android SSL pinning disable. Now, if I go back to burp, if I log in, uh, let me try that again. There we go. So now it gets to the login screen and I can log in to my Twitter account if I want. Now we have that bypassed SSL pinning. And technically, like this device, this emulator is rooted, but um, all of the things we just did with objection and patching the APK and all of that stuff, we didn't do anything that could not be done on a device that wasn't rooted. So um, when we did this with Frida, we had to install that Frida server on the device itself and we had to make it executable and we had to run that server from the file system of the Android device. And we can't do any of those things on a non-rooted device. On this one, all we had to do was patch the APK. I will point out that that might have seemed like a lot of steps and it kind of was but um all of these errors like this massive wall of red text and even the errors before that that we had when we couldn't find zip align and apk signer like all of those errors that we ran into we we needed to install apk signer so we installed it we needed to find a zip line so we installed it and then um, we uh, had an issue with apk tool so we uninstalled our bad version of apk tool and we installed our good version so all of those steps once we did them one time we never have to do them again like as long as we are using this pc with these things installed we never have to worry about dealing with those errors again. Those are taken care of and we're good to go from here on out. Anytime we have to do that and patch an APK, we will never see those particular errors again.